this is the second day, um, third day actually. We are now going to see the open air museum. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Um, I can see something from here already, but it's supposed to be like a display of some statues, um, something potentially interesting. Pretty interesting sight. <coughs> I wouldn't drive specially here, but purely by passing by and you're in the area, it's worth seeing. Not so different. There's a Lego image display, and there's those ghostly, whatever they are. Oh, it's a nice step. Step on those stones that, yeah, yeah. Kids, hmm. what is this? Uh, a statue. What's unique about this statue? Um, uh -huh. The boobs. And the butt. They put boobs on the statue. And there's also a butt. There's a butt? Yeah, there's a butt. A weird butt. A really weird one. Square boobs and square butt. <laughs> right? And what is this yellow thing? A belly button? Or maybe a bag. What is it, a miner and a penguin? Yeah. Hey, go check it out. There are no penguins in Death Valley. I yeah. think maybe in the old days, the miners had penguins to help the mine. That's that's a, the, the wheels of a wagon. Lila, this is the beginning. There's no beginning. Can you imagine, Lila, look? In the old days, that's how they used to travel over that valley. See, there's there's metal. There's no rubber to, to soften the, the rocks and stuff. But, Can you imagine? But how do you say? No, there was a, a carriage on top. So we saw this we saw this hole in the mountain from the bottom there and we drove up we drove up this one of these trails here. Luckily there's a place to turn here, otherwise it would be a little bit screwed with the trailer. It's pretty nice. You're not supposed to, you can't get in, it's fenced in, but Still interesting to see. So we went to explore another offshoot to look at the mine and the road came to a complete, a complete end with kind of cliffs on both sides and towing a trailer 
is not exactly the best setup for things like that. So I had to back up about half a mile down the mountain with um, not cliffs, but kind of a downhills on both sides. It was a pain in the freaking butt, but we made it. But lesson learned. Uh, I don't know what the lesson yet, but something was learned. This is interesting, we just came down kind of a technical spot, very short one. <coughs> I will be able to make it no problem without the trailer. The trailer just creates a bit of a challenges. Now, uh, other than that, this truck is a beast. So far, nothing stops it. It's big, but it is a beast. Took a little side trail trying to bypass the open air uh, museum. And the trail here, seems like the trail is eroded and kind of collapsed. I'm going to see if I can bypass it from the side here. But you can see here, the actual trail is completely collapsed. Probably a flood or flash flood that took it out. Uh, I'm going to try to come down here and see if I can get out. in this beef jerky place and got some goodies what did we get cowboy okay. jerky elk jerky and pepper okay. jerky then we got what um, um i think that yeah apricot and pistachios that's right beef jerky mm -hmm. how is it dalia go ahead you're a real cowboy now mm -hmm. fine um so a candy store yeah nevada's what yeah. This is quite an overlanding, huh? Yeah. We went to Death Valley and now We're to a candy store. That's good. Alright, so we are now on the way to the International Car Forest, which is basically a bunch of car stuck nose down in the ground and sticking up on the ground halfway. Um, it's supposed to be interesting. The kids wanted to go see it. Who wanted to go see it? Me. All right. It's about an hour and a half um, north of Betty, which is where we now stopped and got beef jerky and a bunch of uh, other stuff. Um, we'll see if it's worth the hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. got to the International Car Museum. It's very windy here, so I'm not sure how the sound is going to come through. But this is what it is. Cars, buses, stuck in the ground. Pretty cool. I would say it was worth the drive. there in a minute. I'm gonna do something a little crazy. We're gonna go down this very very steep hill and see what happens.
guys want to climb on the cars? No. Dalia. I don't know. Do you think they are stuck in the ground pretty good? actually still have the interior, the leather seats, even glass, broken glass on the seats. So I'm, I'm assuming these cars were dumped into the ground or stuck into the ground as a whole car and over the years probably parts were taken, windshield was broken, war broken. Well it's cool. Don't touch anything. Oh wow, it's cool in here. Oh, you want to live here? Is it anything interesting? I don't think it's safe. Oh wow! Is it a mine? No, I don't think it's a mine. Kids, you want to jump on it? back from the um, International Car Forest and we figured we take an offshoot and make some lunch, some good lunch. So the kids are sitting here reading. Lela, what are you reading? And you? Um, Dark Diaries. Alright, Dark Diaries and Lord of the Rings. And I'm cooking here potatoes and sweet potatoes with pork loin should be good. Well spiced. It'll take about an hour and a half or so to cook. Kids, what are you eating? Um, potatoes mm. with tenderloin. Yeah. What? Potatoes with tenderloin. How is it? Good. Good. For the rest of the trip, we just made our way back to Betty. 
and we actually cheated a little bit and stayed in a motel. Uh, the kids wanted to take a shower. I have to be honest and say that I wanted to take a shower. It was a nice relaxing evening in preparation for the rest of the trip.